Hello, welcome to the channel. And welcome back to Common Faults and Fixes. Today we're talking about acceleration through the golf ball, how to do it, and why you have to do it. One of the most common faults in golf today is people stopping at the golf ball. Unfortunately, it's almost intuitive. When you stand opposite your golf ball and make your practice swing, it's quite obvious what you're trying to do both to yourself and to your brain. You're trying to make a golf swing. But what happens when the golf ball's there? Are you trying to make a golf swing or are you trying to hit a golf ball? If the latter is true, then you're not going to turn through the golf ball. And this is probably the biggest mistake in amateur golf. The golfer takes his backswing, returns his body more or less to its starting position and stops. And from then on, it's just arms. It's absolutely imperative that you understand that in impact, your body has turned through the ball. In fact, there's virtually no body part in the same position in impact as it was in the address position. If you can get this idea out of your head of starting in position A, going to position B, and then coming back to position A to hit the ball, then you're starting with the right idea. You've got to find position C to hit the golf ball. And in position C, your hips are rotated towards the target, your shoulders to a certain extent are rotated towards the target, and your club is actually a little bit steeper and a little bit more lent towards the target. So there really isn't any position or any bodily or even club position which is identical, with maybe the exception that the club face is still pointing at the target if it was pointing at the target at all in the address position. So how are you going to do this? Well, the very first thing is basically to try and get your body to understand the feeling of rotation and acceleration through the ball. You have got to have the feeling that your body is starting the downswing before your arms reach the top of the backswing. In a normal golf swing, by the time you have completed your rotation in your shoulders and your hips, your arms are around about chest or shoulder height, but they have not reached the top of their swing yet. On the contrary, the golf club at this point is now moving of its own volition back up and over your trail shoulder towards the target. And if, if you allow it, it will pull your arms and hands with it until at least the lead arm collides with your chin. Before this happens, you have to have changed direction. And I've talked about this before in other videos, but I will have the feeling that at the end of my shoulder rotation, I get the, the pressure to go back into my lead foot and this feeling of pressure in the lead foot triggers the start of my downswing. So before I reach the highest point in my backswing, I've already started my downswing. And the rotational energy that my hips and legs provide is transferred through the spine to the shoulders, the shoulders to the arms, and the club before it reaches the top is stopped and pulled back down. It's this pressure applied to the handle at the top or just before the top of the swing, which is going to stop it, flatten the swing plane slightly, and get the feeling of kind of pulling it round behind me. If you want to get a kind of a visualization of what you're doing, imagine you were going to throw a stone on a lake so that it skips. You would never throw the stone with your hips pointing anywhere other than at the lake. So if you're standing sideways, you would rotate and then throw. And this is the feeling you've got to get going on in your golf swing. You have to get your hips and your shoulders to rotate past the ball before you hit it. The trail arm is not going to be straight at impact. It's going to straighten after impact. So imagine if you have your hands in front of you and your trail arm is bent, in order to get that back to the ball, you have to rotate your shoulders past the ball. 
then you can straighten your arm through the ball. So it's impossible to actually hit the golf ball without straightening your trail arm if your shoulders don't turn past and through the ball. The final thing and reason why you've got to do this is basically keeping inertia and pressure on the shaft. As I said, we want to have lean in the shaft, the grip end ahead of the club head end at impact. That way I know I have pressure and control over the club face. And the only way I can do that is by accelerating the rotation of my body, hips and shoulders through the ball. And that means my feeling is that the fastest point in my golf swing, whether it is or it isn't, comes after the golf ball. As if I was accelerating the club here, irrespective that the golf ball is already on its way. I really have the feeling sometimes watching hobby golfers that when the balls hit, the lights go out. Everything stops, as if they've done everything that they have to do. You want to get more of the feeling of accelerating through the golf ball, not stopping, not taking any prisoners, really going through the golf ball energetically and accelerating hips, arms and shoulders through the golf ball. That way there is no chance of the golf club being able to overtake you. If you are hitting the golf ball left, it's a good example that the club has probably overtaken your hands. The club face is closed and it's gone off to the left, given that you're a right-handed golfer, of course. And the trick is to turn harder to the left. The more rotational energy you can create, the further you can rotate your hips and your shoulders before impact, the less chance the arms, hands and club have of overtaking you. The trick today, don't stop at the golf ball. Move through the golf ball, open your hips and shoulders, and you'll be amazed at what a difference it makes to the end result. If ever, if you liked it, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed to us, why not? Subscribe to the channel. Uh, big, big thanks to all of my patrons. If you'd like to become a patron, I shall leave a list or a link below. Until the next time, goodbye now.